Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video, as you will have already seen from the thumbnail, is how I sewed up this little number. This is super straightforward to make, really quick, really easy, basically finished. So if you're interested in seeing how I did it, then let's get started. Starting with the fabric, this is a cotton lycra mix. It has stretch in both directions and I'm using it in a navy and this gorgeous bright green colour. And on to the cutting out. This is my back, my fabric underneath is on the fold. I have the usual notches at the sleeve and one at the centre back neck. So that's that done. So the first thing to do to this piece is to add the sleeve. I have two layers of the green fabric underneath this piece and the usual sleeve notches. So that's my sleeve cut out and notched and ready to be added to my back. My fabric is right sides together, lining up my notches, lining up my edges and pinning and ready to stitch. So this time I'm stitching on the overlocker at my one centimeter seam allowance. Just taking this nice and gently the whole way down trying to follow that gorgeous curve. So that just needs a bit of a press, which you can see I've went ahead and done here. So now that my back is joined to my sleeves, I'm ready for my front. So my front comprises of two pieces, the first of which is this one. I have one layer of fabric underneath this pattern piece. A little notch for my sleeve, one at the centre of the neck and then I have three notches just running down that curve. They'll help me out in a second. So the first thing to do to this piece is just to finish off that curved edge. So I'm just running that edge through the overlocker. So I'm not trying to cut any fabric off here, I just want to tidy up that edge. So that's that done. And once it's had a nice press, this is how it looks. So now on to my side front. I have one layer of fabric underneath my pattern piece. And then I have those same three notches down that curve. And one notch at my sleeve. So just like before, I need to finish off that curved edge on the overlocker. So my intent here is again not to cut any fabric off. So I'm just lining up the edge of the fabric with my needle and stitching the whole way along. So that just needs a good press, which you can see I've went ahead and done here. So now to join my two front pieces together. So I'm just lining up those notches you seen me clip earlier, lining up my edges and pinning and ready to stitch. So this time stitching on the sewing machine, back stitching to start at my one centimeter seam allowance, trying to make sure those edges are lined up the whole way down and back stitching to finish. And I'll press that seam open off camera and this is the result, nice and neat and tidy. So I want to add ties into each side of this seam, so I need an opening for the tie to come out of. So for this dress I've chosen a buttonhole for the opening and for a little bit of support I'm pressing on some lightweight interfacing. And now that that's done I'm ready to sew my buttonholes. So sewing my buttonhole in the usual way. And that's 
how it looks and I'll do exactly the same thing on the other side and this is the result. So to open up my buttonholes I'm just popping a snip right at the centre and then cutting from there to the bottom and to the top. So now that I have my buttonholes in place I need to create the channels for my ties. So to do that I'm going to stitch from that top notch right the whole way down to the bottom of the buttonhole and I'm going to do that on both sides. So starting at that top notch with the back stitch, sewing right along those overlock stitches and finishing at the buttonhole with the back stitch. So that's my first channel created. So just finishing the second channel here, same thing again, starting at the top notch, the whole way down those overlock stitches and finishing at the buttonhole with the back stitch. So they just need a good press, which I've went ahead and done off camera. So now that my channels are created, I'm ready for my ties. So I've cut myself two strips of the navy fabric they're just over an inch wide and I want to sew the long ends together to create a tube. So just lining up my edges and stitching here on the overlocker and just like before I don't want to cut any of the fabric off here I just want to run a stitch line the whole way down the edge and when I get to the bottom I'm giving myself a little bit of extra thread I'll use that to pull the whole thing through to the right side. So just tying that extra little bit of thread through the eye of a darning needle and then popping the eye through the tube and pulling the whole thing right side out. So I'll finish that off camera and this is the result and I've kept that darning needle attached to the tie. I'm going to use it to help me pull the ties through the channels that I created earlier. So just popping the eye of the needle through the buttonhole and then threading right up to that top notch. And when I get to the top notch I just want to pin that tie in place snip off that overlocker thread and now just to add a few stitches to secure that tie in place. So going over the top of the tie back and forth a couple of times making sure it's held in place really strongly. So that's that done and I'll give that a bit of a press and this is the result. So that's my tie all in place in one of my channels. I'll do exactly the same thing off camera to the second and this is the result. So super happy with this and now that that's done I'm ready to join my front and back together at the sleeve. So lining up my notches, lining up my raw edges, my fabric is right sides together and pinning. Ready to stitch. So back to the overlocker stitching at my one centimeter seam allowance, taking it nice and easy, again just trying to maintain that gorgeous curve of the sleeve and I'll give that a bit of a press off camera and this is the result, nice and neat and tidy and now that that's done I can close up my side seams. So laying my back over my front lining up my sleeve seam, lining up my edges, pinning and ready to stitch. So starting at the hem, sewing at my one centimeter seam allowance, the whole way up to the hem of the sleeve. So that seam's had a good press 
and this is how it looks. And while I was at the overlocker, I just ran my hem through it just to tidy it up. And then I pressed that in underneath by my hem allowance and pinned into place. And stitching here at the sewing machine, back stitching to start, sewing directly through those overlock stitches, and finishing with a back stitch. So that just needs a bit of a press which you can see I've went ahead and done here. So happy with that. And now to finish off the hem of the sleeve, I've decided on a cuff. So I have two layers of the navy fabric underneath this pattern piece. And the first thing to do here is to join those short ends. So just laying one over the other, right sides together and pinning and stitching at my 1cm seam allowance, back stitching to start and to finish. So I just need to trim that seam allowance, so just folding right in the centre and snipping out that little bit of fabric that will just give me a nice edge when I press this. So first of all pressing that seam open and then lining up my edges and giving myself a nice crease line in the middle. So that's my cuff all prepped and ready to be added to the dress. So just lining up that underarm seam. Lining up my edges and pinning and ready to stitch starting at that underarm seam, at my 1cm seam allowance, the whole way around, making sure my edges are lined up, and I've given that a good press, and this is how it looks, so pleased with that, and now that that's done, I'm ready to close up the neck. And for this dress, I've decided on a neckband. So I've cut myself a strip of fabric that's a couple of inches wide. It's a little bit shorter than my neck measurement. And the first thing to do here is to join those two short ends. So just laying one over the other, right sides together, pinning and stitching at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching to start and to finish. So I just need to press that seam open which you can see I've went ahead and done here. And then line up the long edges and give myself a nice crease line in the middle, just like I did on my cuffs earlier. And once it's all been pressed, this is how it looks. So before I add this to my neckline, I just want to tack those raw edges together. So stitching within my seam alliance, and this is just going to help prevent these two pieces of fabric from moving around when I'm trying to attach it to the neckline. So that's that done. And to help me line up the neckline with the dress evenly, I want to just quarter the neckline. So I've lined up the center back and center front seam there in the middle, and I'm just popping a pin at the crease on each side. So now to add this to the dress. So lining up my notches, center front, my notch center back and then lining up those pins with the shoulders and ready to stitch. So to help me get this more accurately positioned I'm going to tack it into place on the sewing machine before taking to the overlocker to sew permanently. So I'm stitching within my seam allowance and putting a bit of tension on the neckband and trying not to stretch out the neck of the dress, starting at the centre back with a back stitch and finishing there with a back stitch. So that's my neckband all tacked into place. I'm happy that it's nice and even. So now to sew permanently on the overlocker. So I've lined up my cutting blade with the stitch line you've just seen me sew and I'm taking this nice and easy the whole way around. So that's that done. 
and I've given that a press off camera and this is the result. So super happy with this. So now the last thing I have to do is just to add these little cord stops at the bottom of my ties. So just threading through the narrow end, giving myself a little knot at the bottom of the tie, trimming off any excess and pulling that cone down over the top. And of course I do the same to the other side. And with that, this little dress is complete. So I've got my neckband all in place. I've got those raglan sleeves with cuffs. I've got that asymmetric ruched detail, giving this gorgeous shape around the waist and my ties with those little cord stops. And this is what it looks like on. So I'm super happy with how this has turned out. I love how casual this is. It's just a simple t-shirt dress, but it has some really nice details with the contrast color of fabrics, with that asymmetric ruche detail, the ties, the neckband and little cuffs on the sleeves. I love the length of the skirt that it's not too short. I love the shape of the neckline. This is so comfortable. I mean like really comfortable. I can see me playing around with this design a lot more. Love this one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you guys on Friday. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye folks. <laughs>